water privatization. Roll up, roll up and come to the circus. Witness unbelievable, death-defying acts of corporate greed at the Circus of Water Privatization. The circus has been running for 29 years today since the Conservative government passed a bill to privatise the water system in 1989. And then we are encouraging you, the public, to come and soak the water company that you think is the culprit for each of these crimes. Which water company paid its CEO the highest salary at 2.45 million pounds last year? Which one? Go! Make your choice! Soak your chosen company! The answer is... It's Seven which water company was fined a record £20 million for pumping 1.9 billion litres of sewage into a major river? Take your choice now! <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is... It is Thames Water! <laughs> Which? company had, until recently, a subsidiary company set up in the Tax Haven Cayman Islands. Who's been using the Cayman Islands for tax dodging? Up we go! Take your pick! <laughs> You'll be delighted to know that not one, not two, not three, but four of our water companies have had subsidiaries in the Cayman Islands. Which company has the interests of the public at heart and built into its very organisational structures. Go! Because <laughs> you're absolutely right that none of them do, as far as we can tell, so we might as well soak them all with water. Only a democratically accountable, regionally run water company will be genuinely committed to putting people before profit. Ooh. We need to own our water! Yeah. Yeah.